Hello guys, I am out in Jamaica. I'm feeling good. I hope you all are feeling good. I'm surrounded by beautiful, beautiful palm trees. <laughs> this Airbnb that I'm staying in is such a dream. And it just, just being surrounded by nature right now is everything. It's my dream to live in an environment where it is sunny all of the time, warm weather. This is where I am meant to be. And wow, I'm just taking it all in right now. And if you clicked on this video, you are probably somebody that dreams big. You don't stop going after your goals and you probably receive so much hate for it. You probably have so many doubters, people that doubt you, that tell you your goals and dreams are unrealistic. I'm here to tell you to tune all of that noise out because nothing is impossible. There is no dream that is too realistic or unrealistic you know, reach for the stars. And I know that may sound cliche, but it's so true. You really cannot tell certain people that are closed minded, you know, your dreams and what you want to go after because, you know, really what it is, they probably had tried to pursue something or they're too afraid to pursue something. So what, what they're doing is they're projecting their fears onto you because they're like, well, if I can't do it, what makes them think they can go out and do it? You know, if this has never been done in the family, what makes them think they can go out and do something different than what I am used to or what I believe in? First of all, you know, this dream that you have on your heart was placed on your heart for a reason. It's not meant for everybody to understand. It's meant for you to understand, especially if this dream that you have is something different or out of the norm that your family is used to or has never done before or shoot or what society tells you to do you know society is going to tell you to go to college society is going to tell you to go work for their system work a nine to five buy a house have kids get a dog and repeat the process and tell your kids to do the same thing if that's not something you want to do i'm telling you you are okay you do not have to follow the system to have the american dream life Whatever it is you want to do, you want to go out and travel for a living, do that. You want to go out and start a business. You want to go out and do something different than what your family is used to. That is okay. That is okay. Don't let your don't let anybody try to steer you from your soul purpose. What lights your soul up? What makes you truly happy? You want to move out of your hometown? Move out of your hometown. Don't feel like you have to stay because your family's there and you don't want to disappoint them. You don't want to feel like you're leaving anybody. You have to put yourself first and do what makes you happy. Okay, do what makes you happy in this lifetime. Because these years are going by quick and you don't want to look back and think, wow, I wish I would have went after my dreams. I wish I would have moved. I wish I would have went after that business. I wish I would have went after that job. I wish I would have went after that life. You, it's never too late. But why wait? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Go after it. There's this Disney movie that is, by the way, my new favorite Disney movie. It's called Wish. And that movie is literally telling us exactly how we are supposed to manifest and go after our dreams everybody needs to go watch that movie it's on disney plus right now that movie the main character asha she's in this hometown where there's this the sorcerer is telling the the people that if they tell him their wishes he will grant them one day but he never does what he does is he takes their wishes and keeps them locked away because it gives him this power and this this superior and 
he, he's like an energy vampire. It gives him energy whenever somebody gives him their, their wishes and he just holds on to them, right? He holds on to their wishes. And so Asha, her grandfather, never had his dream fulfilled because he gave his wish away. He gave his wish away hoping that it will be granted, but he never actually went and fulfilled it himself. He just gave the wish away. And Asha, she wanted to work for the king. She wanted to go work for the king. And when she realized that he, what the king was really doing and just giving these people false hope and that this king never planned to grant her grandfather's wish. Now, mind you, the grandfather is now 100 years old and he wanted to go after his dream to do music he wanted to do music for a living the king never granted his wish and so all his life he just lived a life of struggling doing something he didn't even want to do barely just getting by never went after his goals so when asha tries to tell his grandfather her grandfather that grandpa you have to go out and fulfill your dreams yourself you can't wait around hoping and wishing anymore for somebody else to grant it for you you have to go out and fulfill it and believe in yourself and go out and do it anything is possible you hold the power she's telling her grandpa grandpa i see the truth now you hold the power in yourself to go out and live your dream life and the grandpa is like no i don't believe you how could you say something like this the king is going to grant my wish and i won't have to worry about anything i won't have to do anything and the whole family doesn't believe her and she goes off crying in the woods connecting with nature and you know what nature tells her nature tells her she is a part of the star she comes from the stars literally this movie is telling us that we are star seeds they put the truth in movies guys you guys think that the fairy tales and movies are for fake no they are our reality they are they they give us they put hidden messages in movies and think that we're not going to catch on to the truth because there is a universal law that you have to you have to tell us what it is that you're doing you have to tell us the truth but see we don't if you know you know but they try to make you think they try to trick you and make you think fairy tales and these movies they're unrealistic they're just they're just they're just for entertainment purposes that's not true guys this is our reality you really have to open your mind and think we live on a floating planet surrounded by billions and billions of stars and galaxies and other planets like and you mean to tell me my goals are unrealistic we live in a unrealistic universe <gasps> multiverse like guys so back to the the movie and so in the movie nature is basically telling asha that the power has always been within you you hold the power don't look externally for somebody else to give you power because you are just as powerful you hold the power and see that's the thing they will try to make you think you have to look externally to go to somebody else to fulfill your goals and your dreams when you hold the power has always been within you god has always been within you they try to make you think you have to search god somewhere else outside of you no god has always been within you god is all around us the universe has always been you universe you you we're everything we're all connected <laughs> and so in the movie nature is telling her she's a star she comes from the stars. she's a part of the stars like literally the trees is talking to her the deers the birds are all singing and talking to her and telling her to dream big because whatever it is that you want you can fulfill it because you are that powerful and so when she starts to tune into herself and start to realize that she is powerful something changed in that village and the whole villagers and the king notice 
like this great light that just comes out of nowhere. That was the power within her that she realized, that she activated. She activated that power within her. And so, you know, a star falls out of the sky and that is her, her spirit guide that is there to protect her and guide her and help her stay on the path that she needs to to wake everybody up in that village to tell them that they have the power within themselves to do whatever it is that they want to whatever it is that they want to and that's exactly what she does she starts to wake everybody up and expose that king for who he is the king that's basically harvesting everybody's energy giving them false hope that is the type of world that we live in today we are given false hope they distract us from knowing the truth about ourselves and how powerful we truly are within ourselves to do whatever it is that we want to do guys go watch that movie so many hidden messages within that movie it's called wish and i've never felt so connected to a disney movie in my life go watch that movie with an open mind and just see just see the hidden messages that it's clearly giving us they put the truth in plain sight and so with that being said i just want to tell you guys go after your dreams don't stop don't let anybody tell you what you can or can't do because nothing is impossible Keep doing you, keep shining bright, keep shining your light. I'm sending you guys so much love from Jamaica. Thank you guys so much. If you have subscribed to me, like this video, comment down below and go after your dream life. If you're living your dream life, keep living your dream life. If you're pursuing it, keep pursuing it. Nothing is impossible.